And item 1.3 on our agenda, does anyone have a potential conflict of interest to note? Uh, do you know who's in? Give me one second. Give me one second, Joe. Okay. Um, I don't know if you did that one come. Do you want to? Yeah, hit your button once. Um, did it turn red? There you go. Yes. You could just let it. I don't know. Yeah, I was just raising the question if it is for me being at Abacus. Oh, this is an Abacus project. I think what I was going to recommend on this, Joe, was um, it appears that we have a quorum without Bob uh, participating. So based on the fact that Paul Mentek is here from Abacus, that I thought it would be a good idea if Bob maybe abstained from the vote. I think that sounds wise. Uh, Bob, typically in the past, we've uh, we felt that any comments from you were totally acceptable. So please feel free to weigh in on the discussion part of it. You'd just be abstaining from the, the vote. OK. Um, brings us to item 2.1. And Steve, I was not seeing an attachment for minutes uh, on board docs from April 13th. I don't know if uh, other folks found it. I was the only one not finding that. I see the minutes attached and I move to approve as presented. Great, thank you, Marcus. Any second? We have a second for Jerry. Thank you. Any further discussion on the minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Didn't hear any uh, opposed, so we will take that as a unanimous approval. Um, Steve, just to confirm, we didn't need a roll call vote for that one? Nope. Uh, we had a unanimous vote on that. Perfect. Thank you. Um, that takes us to item 3.1. So, Paul, if you could come to the podium and make the presentation on what's being proposed for Sheboygan Christian School. Oh, I have to. I'm sorry. And do we have oh, there technology we go. to get the camera on Paul? <laughs> I'm too tall. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Lots of hand gestures. Paul. <laughs> so I am here to talk about a K-8 addition going on to the existing uh, Sheboygan Christian High School located on the south side on Greenfield Avenue. Um, and probably the easiest thing to start with is if you look at sheet 202, uh, which is the site plan, um, it's kind of gives you a nice overview of what the existing building looks like and also the footprint of the new addition. Um, it includes two new classroom pods on the north side of the building headed towards Greenfield and then also wraps around the east side of the existing gymnasium. As would far be, as- Would I be able to show the screen? Um... Oh, gotcha. All right. As part of your packet, I did include some existing pictures of what the existing metal building looks like. Um, as you can see over time, this building has been added on a number of times. So there's, there's different color siding, uh, different profile siding. Um, some of it's pretty faded, um, as well as some places where windows have been filled in over the years. Um, so you can kind of see what, what it looks like now and what we are um, proposing as far and is also what we are covering up. Um, so the renderings show the um, proposed addition and materials. Um, materials are two different styles of metal yes. building, um, which I do have samples along with me, as well as um, some stone towers and a stone base and um, some some small areas of a wood look uh, metal siding. Um, right now we're proposing longboard 
um, but that is not set in stone yet. As far as all the trim and fascia, we'll all be um, an off-white color to um, match what is currently there. There's nothing else. We'd open it up to the board to run questions past Paul. I guess I would start with a couple. Um, first of all, first of all, it's a nice improvement. Great to see uh, an addition finally going on this building, and it, it sure does seem to tidy it up where we're uh, you're putting the addition on. Um, at the stone towers, uh, question on those with flashing once you get back beyond the facade of the building, whether the sides of those towers are actually going to be the stone or whether you would only run it back a certain distance and then switch to uh, running roof membrane up. Um, they're high enough that we can keep the stone on the front and the sides. The back, I think I would propose running a, uh, a membrane up the back of it. Yep, that sounds fine. Just wanted to make sure that the sides stayed stone. Uh, so if you're able to get it built the way it's shown in the renderings, that sounds great. And okay. that was my main concern. Um, the only other item on my end was just questioning the detail for the window trim. Uh, and some of the window uh, renderings, it looked as if there was uh, really no trim. It was just the metal siding uh, and then the window unit itself. Was that the intent? What, what is the detailing there? Uh, that we would probably, I guess, plan on using the typical metal building trim that Kirby would provide. We're still up in the air on exactly what metal building provider is going to be building it, um, and they each kind of have their own trim. And so the renderings don't, you know, don't really show that trim. But I would anticipate or planning on that trim being the same color as the siding, and then having the aluminum window stand out from that. So, Paul, that's just like a J-channel at the edge of the siding? Yes, that's what I would anticipate. Okay. So that, that's more of a, a modern, sleek look that you're going for rather than a, a trimmed-out window opening? Correct. Okay. Um, the only other thing from my end uh, was actually to Steve. Could you maybe give us a brief description of the annexation process and where we're at with that and how the architecture review approval or potential approval ties into that process. Sure. And, and we may have, uh, uh, do you have a question too, Marcus? No. Um, yeah. What, what we're looking at with regards to annexation on the, um, there's a couple of homes located on the Northeast corner of the property that aren't really shown in the site plan. Um, a number of those are owned by the school. And so with the addition, um, there's a portion of the addition with school yard and, thing, and the yard area that was going to be purchased and incorporated into the property. And at this point in time, uh, we have not received any request for that annexation. Um, I'm sure Paul, and then we have a representative, I'm sorry, and Ann Steenwijk, who might be able to also add some light to that. But at this point in time, um, what they wanted to do was at least have the opportunity to come to the Architectural Review Board, get this done, and as things progressed with annexation and conditional, you know, first annexation and then conditional use permit for the um, actual use and uh, site improvements. So uh, obviously the applicants are aware that, hey, if anything was changed or anything came up, then they would have to come back to us. But at this point in time, um, I'm waiting for that information so we can take action on the annexation. Great, thanks, Steve. So essentially we're approving the elevations uh, with the understanding that uh, the project would be annexed before this construction could happen. That's correct. Great. Other comments or questions from the board? And 
I can't see if anyone's buzzing in. Steve, can you handle the uh, logistics here? Yes. Uh, right now, um, it doesn't appear as though anyone has a question at this time from the board members. Ah, great. In that case, does someone want to propose a motion? This is Jerry. I'd move to approve subject to staff recommendations. I'll second that. Marcus seconded second? that. Yeah, Marcus seconded that. Excellent. So we've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Steve, is anyone buzzing in for discussion? I'm sorry, Joe. Uh, no, no uh, further discussion on this end. All right. Thank you. Yes. Uh, hearing no further discussion. Uh, all those in favor, uh, I guess we need a roll call vote for this one. So, Steve, if you could call the roll, please. Sure. Uh, we'll start with Charlie Wig. Marcus Savaglio. Aye. Jerry Jones. Aye. Joe Clark. Aye. And Bob abstaining. Bob abstained. Excellent. That looked like a unanimous uh, approval. That's correct. So congratulations. And thank you very much, Paul, for the presentation. Uh, look forward to seeing that go up and wish the very best to Sheboygan Christian School. Thank you. Uh, Steve. Yes. Anything else for us to discuss today or updates for the next meeting? No, I just, uh, nothing, nothing's changing. We'll probably still have, um, you know, the remote meetings and things of that nature. So at this point in time, unless there's anything else that anyone else needs to add, um, there's nothing on our end. Anything else with yours, Joe? No, I think that's it. Thank you all very much for your time. We'll look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Stay safe. Can we just get a motion to adjourn? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, we don't. So move by Jerry. 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 Mark I'll second that. Very good. We're all, all good on favor. this end. I. I. Great. Thanks, Steve. All right. Thanks Appreciate a lot. Appreciate handling the, the mic switch. Take yeah. Care. We just got to keep, uh, we'll keep improving as this moves along. So I apologize for any inconveniences. Thanks right. a lot. All good. Thank you very much. All right. Bye now.